Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to Ark Survival Evolved. Now, first off, I would just like to apologize for my last episode. I know it was extremely long, so I do apologize for that. I am trying to be better. I will try my best to make this one a little bit more time savvy. So, we are actually already in location. Um, where we are headed is there is this little island just across from where we are right now if you can see that on my map in the bottom right um, that is where we are going to head to now I'm fairly certain this island that I want to head to is called herbivore island I'm pretty sure that's the name of that guy right there now I'm thinking and I just got to level up that is amazing I'm thinking if we head over that way maybe we might be able to find a doed and an anki but who knows? I was gonna, I was actually gonna cross the stretch of ocean on my own and just bring you guys in once I got there. But it is quite an open stretch of ocean. And I'm a little bit concerned, I'm not gonna lie, I am a tad bit concerned that maybe there might be a whale in the bay. And I kind of figured if I'm gonna get sunk, I may as well get sunk with you guys watching, yeah? I mean, that's like a great entertainment right there. If I've gotta if I've gotta cross the ocean and get sunk by a whale, I mean you gotta get it on camera, right? So fingers crossed. I don't actually know. I've never really been on this island before. I've been here maybe once or twice, uh, on a server that I played on quite a while ago. And uh, someone had actually built here, though. So I didn't really do much exploring around it at all. Um, we're going to just try and stay in shallow as much as possible. And then, I guess, at the last second, just dart across. Now, we do have Weaver the Beaver with us as well. He's just cruising along. But because we are going to try and tame a Doed and an Anki, those guys are actually both slow. So... We can outrun both of them. Um, I shouldn't actually need to use the taming pen. I should just be able to shoot them and run away from them. All right. Oh, my goodness. I am nervous. Wish me luck. We're crossing, you guys. This gets extremely deep. Now, we will go ahead and tame some water dinos later on. And you guys will actually see how deep the water actually is through here. But I'm just really, ho really hoping that we don't get any whales because um, obviously they like deep water so straight away I can see an Anki we're gonna have a look around though we're gonna weigh up our options oh and I can actually see an explorer note right there too um, wonder if this is I mean it still looks pretty deep here let's uh, let's try and shimmy on over near this hopefully if I'm close enough to it the whale can't attack my boat. I do want to get that explorer note though. So all over the arcs. Oh my goodness, that noise scared the hell out of me. I thought something was attacking my boat, but it's just the Bronto. Um, all over the arcs, it's a level 15, dang. Um, all over the arcs, you will find these things like this. These are called explorer notes. Now, if we go ahead and we get them, it will actually give us a little buff. Oh, you guys can't actually see it. My head is in the way. But see down the bottom left here, bottom right even, there is actually a buff with a timer on it. And if we highlight it, it says double XP explorer note. So anything that we do right now, whether it be harvesting, taming, breeding, anything that we do in that, uh, what is that, 570 seconds, um, will actually be extra XP. Oh, no, it's a basil. Okay. I thought I seen a whale for a second there. I was like, uh-oh, there may be a whale right in front of us, but it, it's not. It's a, it's a basil. He's got all these manta bodies with him. All right, let's, let's go ahead. Let's, ooh, okay, we got some Fiomias. Good job. We need some of them. We do need a Fiomia because they're really good at poop production. And if we're going to get some vegetables growing, which I hope we will, um, we need a lot of poop to make a lot of fertilizer. 
So we got some poopers over there. Maybe I'll run over there and see what level they are. I'm gonna put, um, let's go, I'm gonna put another point into weight. Weight is like my biggest pet peeve, honestly. If I'm being completely honest, can I not fit? Am I too big? I kind of feel like I should be able to fit. There we go. Uh, hopefully there's no sharks. <laughs> oh my goodness. It doesn't look super, it looks, uh, it doesn't look super deep, so we should be okay. What level are you guys? We have a 35 and a 25. All right, the black and white one's kind of cool looking. They don't actually need to be super high level because all we want them for is little poop machines. Um, but I just realized I don't actually have my trank arrows on me. I left them on the boat. Rookie mistake. Now, I did also put in a few modifications into our little raft as well. Because I spent the night in it last night, um, I did go ahead, I added like a little room on here so we were kind of safe, we had somewhere to hide. I've got a little mortar and pestle down here in case we need to craft anything up. I've also got some torches, so oh my goodness, when it gets dark, it's not going to get as dark. And here are my arrows. Awesome stuff. Now, I might just leave those guys for a second. We're gonna go for a run around this island. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's nothing on here that's gonna chew our faces off. It is called Herbie Island, so I feel like it should all be herbivores, but, um, you know, you, you just, you just, you just can never be too safe. So we got a stagger, sure thing. I'm kinda hoping I can get better than a level 15 Anki. Another level 25 pig, all right. Some stegos, some brontos. All right, I'll stay on the beach for now and then maybe we might go up and have a look in the bushy part. See if there's anything spawning like in the center of the island. Uh, parasaur, trikes. Another pig. Oh, there's metal here too. Amazing. Okay. It's a level 100 Fiomia. That's actually a decent level. Um, this here is a metal node. So remember how I was saying earlier or the other day that there were metal nodes? These here are just straight up metal. So that is amazing. I will grab a whole heap of that and take that home with us as well. I wonder if there's crystal over here. What do we got? We've got a ramshackle manta saddle. And we got a blueprint for a crop plot. Well, we don't actually need that. Um, just a trike and stuff down there. Parasaur that's stuck. Oh, if he's stuck, he might actually be easy. What level are you, buddy? 40? Nah. If he, was, if he was stuck and he was a super high level, I probably would have tamed him. But being a level 40, I don't think we need him. We've already got fairy butt. He's probably missing us crazy. Missing us like crazy. Oh, I did hear a dodo too there. We could possibly take another dodo home. Um, I'm not seeing a lot in the way of doids. So, oh, I'm going to have to break my way through here. Found myself in a trap. <laughs> Let me out. Your rock walls cannot stop me. I'm on a mission and I should probably throw something away because I'm super heavy now. I'm not throwing out my metal. I'm keeping that. I could actually go ahead and put a little forge and stuff like that on my uh, raft. It could be like our home away from home. Who knows? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll turn my raft into a little base place. And then that way we've sort of just got it with us wherever we go. That could actually be a really cool idea. Um, make a little house on there. Just with like the bare essentials. A smithy and a um forge and things like that okay so it looks like there's only one anki here really one level 15 anki and no doeds oh man that's disappointing i'm i'm actually gonna i'm gonna do like a thorough research of this um island and then we're gonna be right back Okay, so I have done quite an extensive run around this island, and I have found another two Ankies. We have a level 30 and a level 35. Obviously, we're going to go for the level 35. It is going to be better than the level 30. I did not see a Doed, though, so I'm a little bit... 
I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I was really hoping to get a stone collector, but a Anki, you know what? I can't, I can't refuse. Um, an Anki is actually extremely helpful at collecting metal. So that is what we are going to be using this guy for. He is going to hit like a truck though if he gets you. Um, when you reload, you do slow down. So just pre-warning, he is slow, but if he catches you, you're going to know about it. So we're basically just going to keep shooting this guy. When he is starting to get... Oh no, there's another one up here. Um, when he is starting to get low torpor, he will actually start to run the opposite direction. Um, the only problem is, with there being another one up there, if we get these guys too close to one another, the other one will actually try and attack us as well. And then if they become mate boosted, he's running away. Um, if they become mate boosted, they actually do more damage. So if you get a male and a female together, um, they are actually going to be stronger as a pair. So yeah, the other one's on my backside. Man, lucky I turned around. Got him. Yeah, he's mate boosted now. So that other one must be a male or a female. I didn't actually see what, what the one was that we were trying to tame. Where did the other one go? I think it's, is it still after me? Or did it de-aggro? Now the other guy's asleep. No, it's still mad. Okay. And I'm encumbered as well. I did, um, there was a dead, um, megalodon on the bay. And I just can't help but seagull. If I see anything that's dead, I can't help it. I have to collect all the meat and things. So that is what I did. And now I'm a bit heavy. Alright, did you... Are you gonna leave me alone now? I really, I'm really, really curious what level this other one is though. I wonder if it's better than a 35. Now we just knock that other one out. It's a level 20. Okay, cool. So yeah, we definitely still tamed the right one. Gonna go ahead. We need to pick some mijo berries because again, that is the best we can do until we get our veggies all up and planted. Um, I do also really need to find some crystal so we can make a spyglass um, that would make life so much easier. Oh, and I haven't actually learnt the Anki Saddle yet either. So an Anki Saddle gets made at level 36. We're going to need fiber, hide, and metal ingot. Sure. Sure thing. And considering how much metal is on this island, I feel like it's probably going to be a good idea to make a saddle and get a smithy and uh, try to get as much of this uh, metal off this island as possible while we are right here. Why not? I'm going to have to throw some stuff out. Man, I didn't want to throw my things out. I wanted to keep my fish meat, but I think I'm going to have to throw it out because it's just all weighing me down. I'm just going to go ahead and munch on my berries too that I've got here. Now, seeing as how that guy is already taming, I did just take him back some berries. What I might do, all right, we're gonna go the 25. We're gonna, we're gonna take this guy home with us as well. I'm sorry, Mr. Pig, but I do need, I need someone that is capable of producing all the poos, and I feel like you're gonna be good at that. I'm kinda glad that he's stuck because that saves me having to chase him around. And uh, not only that, how much easier was that than trying to chase that guy? If he had a ran off into the ocean, he definitely would have got eaten by a shark. So amazing. All right, I need more berries. Dang it, I just threw all my berries out. I gave uh, I gave all the Mijo berries to the Anki and then the other ones I just got rid of because I'm super heavy. I was actually just going to make my way back to my raft and see if I had everything there or what I actually need to be able to make a smithy and place the smithy and the forge on the boat. But, uh, you know, I got sidetracked by this pig. Now, the level of the pig really doesn't matter because I just need him to produce poop anyhow. So I'm just going to give him all of these berries. Ow, that looks really painful, buddy. Look at that stick poking straight through his back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little fella. But here you go. You have some berries. Amazing. You are taming. Excellent. All right. I'm going to make my way back to the boat. And I'm going to try and make both a smithy and a forge. 
So then we can smelt metal and we can also uh, craft like our tools and weapons and things like that while we are cruising around. Um, we'll also be able to make that Anki a saddle hopefully if I can get everything together that we need anyhow. Alrighty, so I just ran around, I collected everything that we needed for both the Anki and the Fionia saddle, so we have both those saddles right now. I also placed a smithy down on our boat, we put down another storage chest, and I've also got a little forge happening. So we're getting, we're getting there, we're getting a nice little base place. Both of those dinos should be tamed up now. I would strongly suggest that if you are going to leave your tame unattended, that you put spike walls up around it. Um, I didn't worry about it in this case with my guys, only purely for the fact of where we are. And I think that they would be they would be fine. There didn't seem to be any carnivores on this island, so I wasn't worried about them. But as you can see, the Theomia has uh, tamed up nicely. Let's call you, we're gonna call you, I don't even know if you're a male or female, but I'm gonna call you Mr. Poops. Yes, because that is what we are using for. You're actually a Mrs. Poops. My bad. Uh, well, you know what? And what we are going to do with this one, I think we want to do, is it food? I think it's food. We put points into food and then that way we can get all the poop from this guy. All right, let's go. Oh, we got to level up too. Um, I'm going to go fortitude. Now, fortitude helps with not only hot and cold, but it also helps with the amount that you need to eat and drink as well. So, I know a lot of people don't waste time on fortitude, but I always do. That was the level 30, and that was the level 20, yeah? Oh, that's a 95? Um... I'm wondering, so, whilst I've been waiting, I've been running around and I've been killing things to get hide. I'm wondering if that spawned in because I've been killing things. Interesting. There is another one down further on the beach as well. Oh man, look how many of them there are now. And my little dude's just sitting there like, wait, I'm meant to be your friend. Take me with you. I don't know if we're going to keep that one anymore. A level 95 is so much better than a level 35 oh my goodness um okay it is extremely dark as well now dang uh i think I'm, I'm actually gonna trade in i think i'm actually gonna trade in we're gonna we're gonna not worry about the one that we just tamed and i think i'm gonna try and tame this level 95 now you guys seen the process so i don't really feel like it's necessary to share that with you again um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a go. We're gonna we're gonna see if I've got enough train carriers. I've still got 79, so I will see how many it uses and then I will bring you guys right back once I once I get this guy. Now our Anki is still currently taming up, but I just spotted something that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, while you are out and about, you are going to find eggs like this, yes? It is extremely tempting. It'll, do you mind how rude? I was, I was describing, I was talking. Um, it is extremely tempting to take this egg. And I am going to take it and I'm going to show you guys exactly what happens. Now, if we hover over the egg, these are actually, if you find an egg in the wild, they're all unfertilized. So you can't actually hatch these and get baby dinosaurs out of them. Unfortunately, that would be really, really cool. Um, so, but if we hover over it, we can see that it was dropped by an Anki. So it's her egg over there. So if I take her egg, you will notice she's, she's turning around. She's now extremely mad with us, as is every other Anki that's within range. They will get egg aggro. So just know if you do steal an egg in the wild, I'm not so worried because I can outrun an Anki, but if you steal an egg out in the wild of a dinosaur that is fast, um, just be prepared to get the heck out of there. 
Now, seeing as we are still waiting for our Anki to tame, it is taking a hot second. I have seen some decent level pterodons cruising around on this island, and I'm fairly certain that the one that we have at home is like a 15 or something really, really bad like that. So if I can get a decent level pterodon, that could be amazing. But I did see a 145 here. Now max level on the server is 150. Um, so a 145, oh my goodness, that's almost a max level tame. Oh, hang on, look, our buddy, oh my goodness. I've literally been running around trying to find things to do while I've been waiting for this guy to tame. Oh my goodness, we tamed in at a 142, amazing. Thank goodness you are finally done, buddy. Jeez, that took a while. All right, now we have this guy. I am going to show you exactly why we needed him in our life so let's bring this guy up here um i'm going to show you first what i can collect with the pickaxe and then we will use the anki and you guys will see exactly the difference that i'm talking about why we need this guy and how amazing he is going to be all right threw out all that garbage because i can get more let's go ahead let's collect this node and we're just going to see how much metal we actually get from this node, just purely by pick. So we got 115. Yeah? Alright. I collected 115, buddy. How did you go? Oh, should I? No, I'll put it in his inventory. Okay, hang on. I didn't explain that either. Now, in here, you can see 115 metal weighs. So, down the bottom here are the weights of all the items in your inventory. Um, so, in me, it weighs 115 pounds or kilos. I don't know how it works, but it weighs 115 something or other, anyhow. So, but if I put it in my Anki's inventory, you will see it actually only weighs 28 so obviously this guy has a reduction in metal which is absolutely amazing so i collected 115 now if we use this guy to collect a node um he collects 150 off of one tail swing one tail swing and he collects so much more than i did so i am using the left mouse click in order to be able to do that and then if we wanted to we can actually use this guy to harvest berries as well by using the right um click now he's actually quite an efficient berry collector so if you don't have um a berry tame and you are a high enough level where you can actually get one of these guys and knock it out obviously like i said you're gonna need tranks and everything like that um this guy oh my goodness hands down one of the best dinos that you could want on arc now oh no wasn't quick enough are you gonna land no that's a 65 dang I lost the 145. Now, I'm going to run around. I'm going to collect all the metal on this island because I cannot leave without it. Uh, we're going to have so much metal. It's going to be amazing. And then what I am going to do, we are going to set sail and go see if we can find a doed. I'm actually really surprised that there aren't any on this island. I'm, I'm actually shocked about it. So... But we will find one, you guys. Don't you worry. We will find one. Ah, oh, here's a little bit of a trick, too, for you guys. Now, I'm not great at doing this. I always seem to jump off too early because I get nervous when I do it. But let's just say you're running along and out of nowhere you come across a cliffside. Yeah? And before you know it, you've already jumped off the cliff. Now, both the player and the animal will take fall damage if they're on their own. But if we jump off with our tame, at the very last second, if we hit E and we jump off, we take a little bit of fall damage and our tame does not take any fall damage at all. So you can literally just jump off that guy at the very last second. If you were on your own, oh man, can I get back on you please? If you were on your own, I wouldn't suggest that you do it because obviously you're going to hit the ground and you're going to take a whole heap of fall damage. Um, but I also believe that is the same if you whistle tames. So if you have a tame following you and it falls off the edge of a cliff, it isn't actually going to take any damage. Uh, it's only when the dino has a player on it 
that it will take full damage. So you just jump off at the last second and you're good to go. Now the Anki also is not a bad swimmer. So if you can see here, I am encumbered. He's quite heavy. I was being greedy and I collected a lot of metal. But if we get him in the water, he's actually a pretty decent swimmer. So if you are just scooting along the beach side as well, that is super helpful. Just put him in a little bit of water. Just be careful of sharks, obviously. You don't want your prized possession, Anki, to get numbed on by all the sharks. Now, I'm going to have to unload this guy. I think I'm going to do one more lap for metal. And then we're going to scoot off. Ooh, looky, looky what we have here. We actually have another explorer note right here. Now, we obviously went through and got the XP with the one last time. But, um, fun fact, if you actually go through and collect that explorer note with your dino as well, your dino also gets the XP buff. So it's not just us now, it's both of us. It's us and the dino. So you can see one is happening down the bottom right, and you can also see there is one happening up the top right as well. So we are both getting level bonuses for HP at the moment. And there is a metal node over here, so that is amazing. I wish I had seen that one before I started collecting all the metal. We would have been able to level up this guy. Something absolutely amazing. But um, we are just about over encumbered. All right, that's that's us done, buddy. Oh, also, this guy is actually really good. He will actually collect a lot of flint for you as well. Oh my goodness, he's gotten eight levels just out of that. Now, in your utility dinos, I would strongly suggest that you put up their weight and their melee damage. So their weight, pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna make it so they can carry more of the items that you're trying to collect. But their melee damage, the more that this is increased, the more they actually get per swing. So say if I put a point into melee damage, before when he was getting 150 metal per swing, he may now actually get 200 for example. So always put your points into both melee and weight. Um, obviously if it's, a t if it's a really good level dino that you wanna keep as well, maybe a few points into health just in case something, you know, something unfortunate happens which sometimes can now this guy is actually really good as well at collecting flint now as i'm sure you probably have all noticed at the moment we need flint to make both arrows and spark powder but we also need flint to be able to make bullets later on in the game so you need flint to make gunpowder so anki yes definitely uh, going to make our life so much easier. Now we have this guy. I think we're ready to head off this island now though. I think we've been here for long enough. Time for us to go find a Doed. And then we are probably going to head home. I think that we've done like a decent amount. We've got a Anki now. We've got a Beaver. We got a Pig. Uh, just need a Stone Collector really. And we're sorted. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Crisis! Crisis! We have a whale! Oh my goodness! I have everything on my boat! Do not sink me! That scared the absolute crap out of me, you guys. Holy dooly! We just collected all that metal. We got all our teams on here. Holy crap, that was bad. Oh my goodness. My raft. Oh wow. Um insufficient resources to repair. I don't even know what I need to repair. You guys, is everyone okay? Weaver, you need to calm down. Uh, Anki's good, Pig's good. Holy crap, you guys, that was ridiculous. I was just cruising along, minding my own business, and you know what, I bet that guy was waiting there for us for ages. I don't know what I need to repair this thing. Um, I'm just guessing like wood and thatch and fiber maybe i assume so because look it's like half health um repair oh my goodness one slap of the tail and he dropped us down ten thousand health holy crap that could have been so bad everything we just worked for gone in a heartbeat 
Welcome to the wonderful world of Ark. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, I wasn't fibbing when I said that uh, the whales are just cruising around out there waiting for you to make a mistake. Um, all right. Well, at least we're not in the open ocean anymore. I've really got to stay near the, near the shallow water so that doesn't happen again. Oh my goodness. I just spotted our first Dodie. Holy helmet, you guys. I am so far from home now. Like, let's just have a look at the map. Look at where I am. I am at the top right. Our base is all the way down, bottom left, probably around 80-22. Man, we have gone a really, really long way to find this guy. Now, quickly, quick note. That island directly... Directly across from us, I can hear hyenodons. That island directly across from us is actually Carnivore Island. So scary as all heck, lots of T-Rexes, lots of Carnos, lots of Argies. Everything over there would like to eat you. Um, amazing place if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking to go tame some dangerous creatures, that is the island you want to go to. But otherwise, um, try to avoid it in the early days. But like I said, it is the top right island. Now, these hyenodons... They actually aren't too bad when they're on their own. When they are in a pack, though, they are a pain in the backside. Yep, you guys just chase that dimorph. Yep, you go. Good job. All right, they're running down the beach for the moment. Hopefully, they don't come back and attack us. Now, I do. I mean, I'm almost. Oh, man, can I get out? I'm almost to the point of what is blocking me. Is it the guy's tails? Okay, I'll go out the back. Oh, my goodness, you guys. You broke in my raft. Can I not get... Oh, man. Not good. Not good. I am... I am derping on something. What is breaking me right now? Can I... Now I can go through. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, that was not good. How about we go ahead? We're going to drop all this garbage off because I am heavy as well. Um, oh, I made up a whole heap of arrows too while we were cruising along. I figured I may as well multitask. All right. Not that I really have the time to be fussy because uh, we have been searching for this guy so long. Okay, a level 80, you know what? I'm gonna take it. Level 80, I am happy with that. Now, the way you wanna tame this guy is you wanna try and land as many shots in his head as possible because he is like an armadillo. His shell is quite hard and you're obviously not gonna get very good torpor on him. He is going to get to a point as well when he will actually roll up in a ball. So fingers crossed, um, this guy doesn't take forever to tame. It is obviously a lot easier to tame one of these if you have someone else with you, but um, we're all by our lonesome. So let's go ahead. This guy is gonna chase us as well. He is going to get mad, much like the Anki did, but um, as long as we just keep our distance from him, and we make sure that there are no more in the area. We should be fine. And as soon as his torpor starts to run low, he is going to either A, run away, or B, ball up. Now, when they ball up, obviously it's a heck of a lot harder to get torpor on them um, because of that shell. Now, I do wanna keep an eye on where we are actually going with this guy too, because I really don't want anything sneaking up and attacking us from behind while we're not paying attention. All right, come on, little buddy. Starting to look like you got a bit of a spiky face there. Oh, I was hoping he was gonna get stuck on that tree then. Dang. All right. Come on, little buddy. I just wanna be your friend. Now, the easiest way that I've found to tame these, oh, I think he's gonna get me there. Oh man, that was lucky. Um, easiest way that I've found to tame these, if you do have someone else with you, is you would actually pick the Anki up with a Argentavis, which is a type of bird, and one player would hold the Anki, uh, the Anki, oh my goodness, the Doed in the air, and then the other player would shoot its underbelly from a distance. Now, that is the easiest way to tame these guys. Now he is running, so hopefully this guy doesn't ball up. If he doesn't ball up, it's gonna be so much easier for us to tame. 
So hopefully he just keeps running. We'll keep our distance from him. And hopefully we can do this without any serious issues. Come on, little buddy. Oh, man, that didn't hit. <laughs> it didn't register as a hit anyhow. Now, if I fire one off into his shell just to show you, oh, no, it's actually still registering as 35. Interesting. Normally, when you hit him in their shell by accident, it normally um, doesn't do as much torpor. Oh, is he aggro on me again? Okay. Come on, buddy. I just want you to go to sleep. I just want to be your friend. I feel like we actually have enough movement speed that I can literally just walk backwards and he can't catch me. That's amazing. I did put another point into movement as well. I think, I'll, if I'm being completely honest, I think I put another two points into movement just to be on the safe side. I definitely want to be able to run out, run away from anything that is chasing me. Okay, come on, buddy. We must be getting close. I should have checked how many arrows I started with. Oh, another great uh, thing that you guys may, may or may not know about. Oh, ho, ho, that was close. He nearly got us. Um, is There is actually a website called Dodo Dex. Now, Dodo Dex, oh my goodness, finally, you are asleep. Amazing, good job. Dodo Dex is actually a website that you can go to and on there if you type in the level of your creature and your server settings or if you're playing single player, if you put everything in there, it is actually going to be able to calculate the level of the dino, how much food it is going to need to eat, how many tranks you are going to need to tame it, um, whether that be um, bullets or arrows or knocking it out with your fist it'll tell you exactly how long it is going to take extremely extremely handy website so if you haven't heard of that one before i strongly suggest you just check it out it will also tell you on there their favorite type of food as well so um obviously we know that these guys would love to have some kibble or some vegetables but uh we're not there just yet so next best thing is miso berries all the way so I collected a few miso berries for our uh, dodi just here. But I did also knock out a dodo. I feel like it's time for Nuggets to get a boyfriend. So we've now got Mr. Nuggets. We will take him home for her. She will be ha very happy. And it is going to almost definitely double her egg production as well. So I'm sure she will be missing us. We have left her for quite a while. We've gone on quite the adventure, but uh, we're nearly ready to head back homeward. Um, I will redesign our boat as well. I think this is gonna be a pretty cool, a pretty cool little place for us to cruise around in. Now let's also see um, a dirty saddle. What level do we actually learn that at? We learn a dirty saddle at, um, no, at level 34. All right, we're gonna need five, hi, we're gonna need fiber, hide, metal ingot, stone. Beautiful, no worries. And if you're ever unsure where they actually get crafted, see in red there, it says down the bottom left in red, can be crafted at the smithy. So let's go ahead, let's make a, a saddle for our dude. If I have everything. Oh, no, I don't. Um, I should, maybe. Can you move your head, pig? Pig, pig. Oh. Should have heaps of metal smelting in here, though. Can I carry all of that? Uh, no, not a hope in heck. Way too heavy. All right, throw it out. Gimme. Pop that in here. Um, with my fiber... Now, that's the Anki saddle. That's the Dirty saddle. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. Not good, you guys. Come on. We're at 93.8. And I can see an Alpha Car uh, Not an Alpha Carno. An Alpha Raptor down the beach. He's just cruising around on the edge of that rock. I really need that guy to stay over there. Oh, my goodness. If he comes over this way... It is game over for our Dodie. 
So you know what, buddy? You need to hurry up and tame. Because that thing, I'm not even going to be able to kill that thing if it comes over here. Oh, I am so nervous. Why? Oh, why? <laughs> Don't do it to me. Keep the Alpha Raptor down there. I'm sure there must be a tasty parasaur or something down that way that you would like to eat. Now, Alphas are generally they glow red and they are extremely strong. Um, extremely strong, extremely fast and have a lot of health. So you really don't want to go up against an alpha if you can help it, unless you have a strong dino, and then you're going to get really good XP. Um, but all I can hope right now is that this guy hurries up and finishes his last few mouthfuls. We are super, super close. Um, yeah, I'm nervous, you guys. I'm nervous. I've been standing here for, like, I don't know, a good... Oh, I'm going to say I've been standing here for like a good half hour, 45 minutes. And I know that doesn't seem like long um, to you guys that are used to playing official. But man, our, ser our server rates, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Our server rates are normally boosted that high that this guy took a long time for me. I'm not used to waiting this long. All right, let's let's uh, let's go. Let's get out of here. Um, so yeah, we have the amazing Dodie. Now, if we use the right click, we can do a roll animation. And in this roll, he will gain speed and he doesn't actually take next to no damage. So that is absolutely amazing. As you can see, we can do a tail swing here. And this guy will collect so much stone. And this is the reason why I wanted to get one of these guys before we started building our base are we good did that raptor stay down the beach i think we should be good now much the same as the anki this guy actually gets a reduced weight on stone so in my inventory it's weighing 50 kilos in his inventory it only weighs 12.5 and again if you are going to put points into this guy i strongly suggest putting them into weight and also into melee damage but i think that is actually probably it from us today guys i do have a long journey home so i am probably just going to do that now i'm just gonna we're just gonna throw this guy in here oh it looks like mr nuggets has fallen out come here buddy you gotta get in here too all right, excellent. I feel like we did a really good job today. I may be stuck. Um, feel like we did an amazing job today. We got a whole heap more dinos, which is going to help us make our base. It is going to be amazing. But uh, that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I hope to see you all again soon. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.